presentation is broad because I would like to share with you some reflection about uh, uh, how can school nurses be helpful to implement and to support school-based education involving toothbrushing in the program. So going to my presentation, next please. Going through my presentation, I'm going to stress the attention about uh, next, okay, great, about uh, some facts that are underpinning uh, the International Council of Nurses perspective about the involvement of school nurses in education. And uh, I would like to share with you broadly some facts. First of all, poor oral health may negatively affect a person's quality of life. And considering the student ages, uh, poor oral health could also indirectly affect uh, school performance. We know that a uh, proportion of young people aged under 18, uh, which are seeking for dental care on an annual basis worldwide are increasing. So why? Basically simplifying for two main reasons. On one, on one hand, we have and increase the awareness related to the importance of the oral health. On the other hand, we have also uh, an increased number of diseases associated with poor oral health. Next, please. Be very helpful in uh, help you help the educators in defining an environment uh, which is functional to uh, deliver health promotion programs first of all i would like to clarify that health promotion is not only health education sometimes when we freely speak the concept of education and promotion overlaps the one and the other Actually, when uh, to understand my presentation and to understand how can school nurses be helpful, uh, we have to consider that health promotion is a most more complex concept uh, which encompasses education, screening, prevention. What does it mean? It means that if, we, if you would like to implement in your environment uh, a fig, uh, an effective uh, curricula uh, of health promotion, you have to move from education to prevention uh, through the screening uh, to implement a behavioral change in the student. Next, please. Next, please. So, uh, how can school nurses be helpful to uh, enhance the ecosystem related to uh, programs on health promotion? Uh, if we move to the next slide, please. Uh, the message I would like to share with you is given by the, uh, the, the uh, pitfall that sometimes we uh, face with when we try to face with uh, curricula based on multiple messages. So, uh, as uh, my uh, as the faculty of, of, of this webinar said, uh, we have a lot of information that we need to uh, that we need to uh, to to. Uh, consider in our educational program, but sometimes we are focusing only on knowledge. Knowledge is a, a necessary but not sufficient requirement for behavioral change. And when we would like to implement a health promotion program, of course, we have to consider that uh, the best end point we can achieve is the, a behavioral change. So, uh, Considering a uh, perspective from behavioral change point of view, taking oral health related behaviors and considering them separately in uh, different models of preventive program is much more likely to lead to behavioral change. So the philosophy, next slide please. Uh, 
the philosophy of what I uh, would like to say is to undertake programs that move from information to incentivation. Uh, school nurses are very educated considering this paradigm and this kind of program which should be considering as an actual path from knowledge to engagement uh, should start from a clear barrier and facilitator analysis uh, because every program should be specific for a specific target a specific setting and even some specific epidemiology uh, epidemiology of your countries so uh, the barrier and facilitator analysis of course is the in the methodology of school nurses when uh, start to work with educators is the basis to build uh, a good uh, curricula in, in the different uh, school programs that move from information with simple models to incentivation because uh, of course we have to consider the settings of our uh, the settings uh, where we would like to implement uh, educational programs uh, and uh, the settings in some way could represent in some cases barrier in other cases also could be facilitate the perform of a uh, healthy behavior next please so next slide please so considering uh, the messages uh, i would like to share with you uh, we have to be aware that daily toothbrushing is a pivotal strategy to achieve and or maintain oral health. We have to be also aware that schools are places that uh, are pivotal to implement health promotion. So educators, teachers have to, wear, uh, have to be aware that uh, their work and the school are strategic fundamental places to implement health promotion. Uh, sometimes and many times the relative brushing requires a behavioral change so what i said before means that we have to consider the complexity of the education that is underpinning an actual behavioral change and an actual behavioral change often requires many elements that could be synthet that have to be synthesized in a clear curriculum educational plan that start from knowledge and move to the engagement of the different students. Of course, as I say, preceded by a contextual analysis of barrier and facilitators. Next, please. Uh, in this scenario, uh, school nurses are your partners in creating an ecosystem to supporting health promotions. In the complexity of an educational plan that has the end point uh, um, of a behavioral change, school nurses could help educators, could help uh, teachers in framing the right educational plan at the right time, because the timing uh, of the different targets is very important and the strategy of the educational plan has to be uh, very specific considering the, the, the target of the educational plan and also are uh, good partners in considering the barriers or the facilitators of your setting because the educational plan has to be tailored uh, with some common uh, strategies but have to be tailored starting from your setting. Nurses are a, a linchpin of different uh, uh, healthcare providers and uh, for this reason uh, could be very strategic uh, in implementing a uh, school-based educational curriculum to enhance the daily of brushing as a part of the activity of the educators and uh, thank you um, with this uh, few messages i finished my intervention uh, about uh, the role of school nurses in, uh, in, in um, uh, educational, uh, in education related to construction. Thank you.